Hey and welcome to part 2. This is the final scene and if you want to download this there will be a link in the description so you can go ahead and download it. You will have to add your own materials or your own image textures since I don't own these I can't share them but you can go ahead and add in your own. I've also give this a quick render and I'm just aligning the node editor now. Yeah we zoom in um, we zoom in even more we can see there's quite a bit of noise especially at the bottom of the glass here um, and there is over 200 samples so bearing in keep that in mind when you're rendering an animation you will have to have quite a lot of samples okay so the first thing I like to do is shift A add in a filter and then a despeckle node and this helps cut down on the noise so with this image you won't really notice that much since there's quite a lot of samples if we mute this there's literally no difference but if you had a low sample image or a render he rendered this with only 50 samples you'd notice the difference straight away I'm going to change these values to something I know that usually works and it's all scene dependent so play around with these values if it's still looking a bit noisy I also want to shift A and go to color and give this an RGB curves. This is just to play around with the brightness and contrast. Now you're probably thinking, why don't I just add in <laughs> brightness and contrast? I don't know, I just prefer to use an RGB curves. If you want to add a few different nodes to what I do, that's completely up to you. This is just to show you how to add the glow to the fireflies. So yeah, this part's not really necessary. I'm just going to make a simple S curve, like this. Just play around with the values to find something that I like. something like this maybe if just jump between the two there's not really that much difference you might think well what's the point but to me I think this one looks a little bit better than what I originally had it anyway shift A and what we would normally do is just add in a filter and then a glare let's just hook this up So we want to change this from streaks to say fog glow and what we'd do, we'd increase this to 1 and straight away we see we've got a problem, the, there's already values that are showing up when this is a value of 1, um, it's not good so if we reduce this value now we want to see the fireflies but we don't so let's just delete that and this is why we set up the material index in part 1 but if we view this now we don't actually see anything and we should we should see the um, materials showing up but what we'd normally do is shift A add in um, a converter then ID mask plug this in and if we remember we set this value um, for the material so let's switch this to 3D view and find the icosphere which is over here select this so yeah we went over to the materials and then down at the bottom we set a pass index of 1 and we also went to, oh, we went to this one, the scene tab, and down at the bottom we activated the material index. So we should be seeing a black and white image when we set this to one. We should see a black and white image of the fireflies, but we don't. And I think this is to do with the the glass container. Now I'm not entirely sure. It's just from the problem I'm finding right now. So a way to fix this, if we select this plane here, which is our particle system, press M, and we move this to the second layer, or the next layer. So this is on this layer, and everything else is on this one. What we need to do is actually set up the render layers now. So go to the render layer tab, and let's just change this. Let's rename this to main, so we know what this layer is. Add a new layer, and we rename this one to fireflies, or whatever you want. Now we want to select the main layer and we want this one to only render this first layer and then the fireflies we want to render the firefly layer like so but we, we need to make sure both of these layers are active so if you hold shift and then click the second layer here on scene both of these now are going to be rendered and we can see that it's down here so make sure both of them are selected go back we can unplug that since we won't need it now let's shift D this render layers here and then zoom in let's change this to the firefly layer 
and we will have to re-render this let's just select this so you can see we will have to re-render this since um, <laughs> since we've now created a new layer actually I don't want to render it back with 200 frames let's just drop this down so I'll just drop it to 20 for now just so I can work on this won't have to wait around too long okay let's jump back to the node editor now it's rendered what we want to do is use the alpha so we don't want to use the image for now we just want to use the alpha feed so it gives us that black and white image so we don't need an ID mask so we can delete this now so we want to work on this and give this a bit of glow and color so shift A go to color then mix I'm going to plug this in here So let's change this from mix to multiply. If we zoom in, it might help us see things. Let's change this color to orange. And again, whatever color you choose is entirely up to you. It depends what sort of look you're going for. Maybe something like this. Okay, so now we've got the color, we just want to give it a bit of a glow. So shift A, add in a filter. And we want to give this a blur. change this to fast Gaussian and let's increase this depends on how glowy you want it to be now we need to mix this again so shift A go to color mix we want to mix this with the original let's just change this from mix to add because we want to add these together and I'm going to take the feed from the alpha and plug that in the bottom so that's not looking too great let's just take the feed from the original and plug that in the top switch it around yeah I think that looks a little bit better than using the alpha so the alpha is going into the mix and then the blur and this original image is going into that and then mixed together so now we're just going to mix these back together so shift A add a color mix and let's change this from mix to screen and there we go we've got some glow lights might be hard to see especially with these low samples it's pretty hard to see but if we isolate it we go from this one to this one you can see the glow and there are ways to add more glow to it you can keep adding more blurs and mixing and adding some more things so there's a couple more things we can do let's just move this over here and we do want to add a glare when it goes to shift A filter and then glare so this is the thing we were doing before but this is going to give an overall glare an overall glow to the scene so change it to fog glow and then I'm going to change these values so go to 0.1 and threshold is going to be 0.5 so this is just giving a tiny bit of glow to the overall scene which helps <laughs> shift it uh, I'm going to copy this and change it to streaks give this a streaks So you can keep adding loads of different nodes, um, duplicating nodes, copying them and mixing them, adding them together. Depends on what sort of scene you want to go for. I'm not going to go into in depth with this. I'm just going to add a few more blurs and glows. In fact, what I can do is if I add a shift A, you can add um, an RGB curves. Shift A, go to color. RGB curves, plug it in right here. I mean, if we increase this, the um, the glow should show more on the fireflies. Let's just zoom in here, and we'll notice. And if we increase this, it should get brighter. So it's not much, <laughs> but it does help. So we just mute this. See, it does uh, adds a tiny bit more brightness to it. So you can keep adding more more nodes to this if you want. I probably will add a few more nodes.
So now you can just finish off with a little bit of colour balance, maybe a, a vignette, a few other little nodes, it's entirely up to you. So hopefully this tutorial helped, I know this second part was just mainly about adding the glow to the fireflies, but overall, hopefully this tutorial did help, um, if it did be sure to give it a like, and as always, thanks for watching.